guys. So welcome to our first attempt at a take and make. If you came to the library already, you probably have one of these bags. If you don't yet, then um, stop down at Blackstone. If there are any left, you're welcome to come and get one. They're open to grades five through 12. There are also younger bags for K through four, if you have a younger brother or sister. Every month will be something different. This month, we are making our own homemade lip balm. So, if you go into your bag full of goodies, you'll find wax beads that we're gonna use, a container of coconut oil, and a container of shea butter. Four tea bags. We have Moroccan mint, which is green tea, spearmint, lemongrass, and peppermint together. That's gonna give us the flavor for our lip balm. And everybody should also have two of these handy dandy little tins that you're gonna pour your finished product into and let it set. So the only thing you need at home is a microwave safe container, something you could make tea in. This is gonna get a little messy inside that cup, but eventually it will wash out. Don't leave a bunch of dishes in the sink before mom or dad wash them, they'll be super impressed. So you've got a container of shea butter, a container of coconut oil, which smells really, really good and you're gonna empty both into your cup. So you've got a bag of wax beads and that's the next thing you're gonna add right on top of your shea butter and coconut oil. Pour them all in. Try not to get them all over the floor or the counter like I just did. <laughs> the cool thing about this is everything is already pre-measured for you. If you decide that you wanted to buy more supplies and make more lip balm for yourself, it's about two teaspoons of shea butter, two teaspoons of coconut oil, and two teaspoons of wax beads. They're all food grade and um, that means that they're a lot safer for you to smear all over your lips when it's done. So I'm opening all of these tea bags and it smells really good. Very minty. And you'll see that the tea bags all have a black label. We could put the whole thing right into the cup, but if we did that, it would probably turn the lip balm blackish from the ink in the tags. So I'm gonna rip them off before I put them in. And then all of the tea bags are going right in on top of everything else. And the idea is we're gonna melt all of this together, take out the tea bags, and that's going to leave us with green tea and mint flavor inside of the lip balm. So all of that needed to go in a microwave safe container and you're gonna microwave it for 30 seconds at a time. Don't do more than that. Please do not explode anything or burn your kitchens down. It'll probably take about a minute and a half, but 30 seconds at a time until everything melts. So after 30 seconds, you can see it's already starting to get melty in there. It looks like a mess. It smells really coconutty but it's not melted yet. 30 more seconds. Okay, so it's been about a minute and a half. And when you open it after a minute and a half, you'll see all of the wax beads are melted, but we still need another 30 seconds to really get the mint and the tea into the lip balm. So now it's been about two minutes and you'll see that your lip balm is actually starting to turn kind of black, a dark green, and that's the green tea and all of that mint 
all of the antioxidants and all the good stuff that's in there, which is so great for your lips, is getting into the oil and the wax. So this is really important. When you go to pour it into your little tins, the stuff you're gonna pour in is really hot. Make sure it's sitting on a plate or a plate you can throw away, something that's gonna make it easy to move afterwards so nobody burns their hands and so you don't accidentally drop it all over the floor. I'm gonna use my spoon to scoop the tea bags into a trash can. And what I'm left with is just the oil that we're gonna turn into our lip balm. So really carefully over some kind of a plate, pour about half of what you've got into each container. You might have a little bit extra. I've got a little bit more than I need. That's okay too. If you have extra that you're gonna throw out, make sure that either you let it harden, you can do that on a plate, and then scrape it into the trash. Or that you otherwise get it into a trash can instead of putting it down the sink and clogging up the sink because that would be really, really bad. So, once you've got it all poured onto some kind of a plate, you're gonna put it into the freezer. Hi guys, we're back downstairs and we came to show you the finished product. It takes about 10 minutes for it to set in the freezer and at the end of it, you get little tins of your own homemade lip balm that are all natural, healthy, organic, and um, smell really, really good. Plus, if you decide that you wanna make um, lip balm like this for friends, family, your parents, they make great Christmas gifts, and now you know the recipe. So, if you have any questions or you have any trouble making it, whether you have an epic fail or you have um, a totally nailed it moment, I hope you will share pictures of your results with us. We can't wait to see what you make.